Yo, what is up? This is Aragotic here with a little mini update. Quickly before I start, I apologize if my voice is off. The snow is just piling up and the weather is super cold. And it's, it's making my throat a little bit sore. But anyways, I just wanted to post really quick. They accidentally re-released the promotion and enhancement event for Rookie. This is something that you get when you first start out. Definitely push this as soon as possible. Uh, well, not as soon as possible. You have a few days for it because these rewards are really good and super easy to get to. Really, really easy to get to. Uh, here, a promotion. I wasn't sure if we'd get it or not, but we were able to get to 8k pretty easily. I don't know if next time it'll be as easy since I won't have as much stuff stocked up. But we're going to look at heroes real quick. A Serena back there. Oh, wait, real quick. We were able to synthesize her, so that's pretty nice to have her in the vault. But we're not going to be investing in her for a bit. We'll be we'll be uh, chilling on that. Hydrosia, yeah, we're almost to 60. And then we've got Kane, Myla, and Nathalia I decided to go with. Because I want the extra damage. I'm not sure who we're going to 6-star next. If you have any advice on which ones I should 6-star next, that would be great. Santas, I think we got this from the... Uh, the free summon daily. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was from the free summon daily. She's poison based, which seems like it'd be really great. Originally, I was kind of working on different elements and trying to make it like more of a rainbow. So that I had different units for specific content. But I think we should just focus on water and then really hone in on these characters that are water and then spread out from there so that we can push the gear push the content that we really excel at from our units as far as possible instead of getting as much content to a mid-tier level where it's not going to be the best that i can get but yeah so we're up to 6500 which is great bonuses the jellies actually so you can get the bonus things in here double xp cards but you get them from events and just clearing content which is nice you can they actually stack so they'll show up in consumable and i was worried not to consume them because i was thinking maybe it just was like a reset of it not that they would stack but they can stack and then you don't have to really worry about running out midway because i don't keep it on but i do toggle it when a uh, recommended pops up it's limited it gives you i think it's like 30 minutes and it's a jelly sort of dungeon where you clear the waves and as far as depending on how far you get you get more jelly from it and the double jelly on that is definitely the way to get the most unless i'm just missing some sort of other way to do it if you're doing it if you're using them in a different way please let me know because of the rookie enhancement event I didn't wait to enhance the gear. I just see it now is at 12 all attacks with 81 crit rate. We got really lucky here with two, here with two, crit damage two, three here, two here. So we got a lot of crit rates. So we're up to 81%. I do want to get crit damage up, but I'm not really sure in. While I'm still kind of getting the gist of what levels are good and what levels aren't, I'm not sure if you're really meant to... How the balance is between crit damage, crit rate, I guess. Precision, agility, focus. I'm kind of confused on this. Like, focus and precision, I kind of thought are the same thing. In agility, I don't, I don't understand that one. But the more I play, I'll probably pick up on it. And it's probably smack dab in my face, but I'm just missing it. Gliss, we've grinded out some of this for Hydrosia. Kane as well. Ignore him. We got two in Myla. And we got Hurt Nathalia up to four. I did not realize because we just finished it. But... We finished chapter 10 and I didn't realize that there was a mythic difficulty. We haven't started this yet, but I'm sure that this is going to be a lot harder, but 
because I didn't realize this, I was grinding hard for the glyphs. If I knew that this was coming up, I probably would have stopped at glyph 4 and then waited to get those glyphs uh, to fill out for. Because I'm sure the drops are going to be far higher rates, assuming that you still get the glyphs there. Guild, we're doing as much as possible here. Uh, I don't know if I can see here. No, I don't think I can. But we're getting to stage 11, maybe 13 when we challenge him. I'm not quite, somewhere in that range. The guild's overall, overall doing pretty well. The shop, we're just buying out the same stuff as always. It doesn't seem like gold is much of an issue. Maybe down the line it will be, but right now it's not. Arena, like always, I'm slacking off here. I need to use up my tickets. They always end up uh, hitting max because I just forget about this after doing all the rest of the content. I'm not really finding the time for it. But right now, the main thing I'm trying to focus on is finish events as best we can. Kind of get a feel for how much... Uh, how much resources we really need to save up before they come. I am not going to be summoning because I already have characters that I need to really work on. We might summon here in six days or so. Because I want to see what the threshold is for the summoning events as well. So we going forward we can really tell how much, again, that we save up for. If we go to summoning, I'm at 35 I've saved up. Which I think is pretty good. I think that's a decent amount. We're completely free to play so far. We haven't been using our crystals at all except for... Let's quickly check. The one the three 100s, so you save, you know, the 150 here. And I bought the four, and I bought the threes, and the foodies, and the mule coupon we do every day because that's super cheap, which new update actually lowered the price of the mule coupons. I think they're now 30. Originally they were 50. That's really awesome. I didn't read all the patch notes or anything. Uh, could go through them, but for the most part, if you really want to check, it's, it's on their official Discord. I might do like mini patch updates going forward, but this one wasn't too huge. And I don't want to give advice or my opinions when it's still not fully formed on my side. I'm not really sure what kind of advice because I'm still trying to figure out everything about the game, you know? And I don't want to give something somebody that stumbles on the video an idea that they shouldn't even be doing, you know? We're focusing a water team first. We're going to be able to clear Ash Magisteria, which honestly... Avarice seems like it might be okay, but this is mostly going to be for speed. But I wonder how far we're going to get. I'll probably have an update for how far we're at in this next time. Someone mentioned that with Nathalia that they were using a guard set and this triggers her passive if I'm correct. Let me see real quick. Yeah, so for every positive effect this character has, their abilities affect one extra enemy. So with guard set, right at the start of the battle, you get the shields, which is a positive effect. So it immediately is already contributing to her overall power. We do need to wait until tomorrow to finish off her abilities, but that's not too hard. It's pretty straightforward and quick. Otherwise, that's pretty much where we're at right now. I just really wanted to do a quick update. Again, apologies for the voice. It is very early and very cold. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you are doing well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.